Welcome to the streamline lesson of fast study of um, fluid dynamics. So in this video, I'll take you through the mathematical relations in streamline. Okay. Alright. So if I'm being given a fluid velocity vector like this, okay, what can I say about a streamline? If you remember, we said that a streamline is just you picturing the particles of a fluid moving together okay like this <coughs> like that okay all right so what i can say here is that um if i want to find a relation from here to here from let's say this is particle one and particle two what is the relationship between them their relation okay let's find that okay so that will be what we want to do right now okay so in our previous discussion in part line, we said that always the dx dt will give us the s component of our velocity vector because the velocity vector is actually the differential of the position vector. Okay, so every component corresponds to the differential of the respective components in the position vector. Okay, so the s dt is actually equal to my u and dv dt sorry dy dt rather okay dt is actually equal to what my v okay now let's try to divide dy dt by ds dt so if i do this dy dt okay you can you can try that with your own sorry dy dt okay let me write it for for you divided by dx dt okay how will i get now this is the same as v over u okay all right but if i look at this the left side of our equation clearly i can do some cancellations okay this is the same as a multiplication i just change it like that dt over dx okay and so this will take this out so in effect i'll get something like this dy dx should be equal to v over u now this is the relationship we will use in finding the relation between two particles in a streamline okay now this this works in 3d as well if it was in 3d it would have been plus some wk or omega k however you want to call it now that one too you could have derived a relation between the first two as in dy dx dt and dy dt then you see the last term will also be dz dt okay dz dt that will be the last term okay so this will only happen when you are dealing with 3d but here in our case we are dealing with 2d okay so with this, what if um, I'm giving an example, how do I solve this? How do I go about it? Okay, so let's go ahead and solve an example and um, help us to understand it well, okay? So we have a velocity vector field giving us xi plus x into the expression x minus 1 times the expression y plus 1 j provided it passes through the origin. Okay, so this is condition given the condition is this provided it passes through the origin okay now how do i solve this comparing this to what we just saw you see that this is our u this is our v so whatever that is attached to our i is our u sorry okay so our u here is equal to x and our v here is equal to what? x into x minus 1 y plus 1 okay we are seeing a dy dx is actually equal to v over u which is the same as x into x minus 1 y plus 1 okay let me clean it y plus 1 over x so this x can take this x out 
Now we'll be left with dy dx is equal to x minus 1, y plus 1. Okay. So this also implies that I have to solve this simple OD. It is a very simple OD to solve because it is separable and so it becomes very simple. Okay, so I have dy. Let me first do this. Then x minus 1, y plus 1, dx. Okay, so I can divide through by 1 plus y plus 1. I have dy over y plus 1 equals x minus 1 dx. Okay, so now I can simply solve this pd, sorry, ode, okay, and get a very nice answer for it. So if I solve for this ode, I'll get ln of, I'm just integrating the left side of the equation with respect to y, and I'll get ln of y plus 1, okay, is equal to s squared over 2 minus x and plus some constant let's say a okay so let me use another pen here so that we can understand now with the help of logarithm lin is the same as logarithm or whatever we are talking about with respect to the base e okay so in so doing we can see that y plus 1 is equal to e to the power whatever that is at the right side of the equation so s squared over 2 s squared over 2 then minus x okay then plus a let me first write this then you come and simplify it and this is the same as e to the let me write it well e to the s squared over 2 minus x then times e to the power a, right? Because in indices, any number or any base to, you know, some addition of powers can be separated with a multiplication, okay? So I can do this and write e to the power a, okay? But a is a constant. That's what we are saying. And e to the power a is to be a number. So that one too will still be a constant, okay? So I prefer we erase it and write, let's say, c. This time you see like that. Okay, so y, we are now with an equation like y plus 1 is equal to, y plus 1 is equal to this. So y will be equal to e to the s squared over 2 minus x, then times c. So let me put a c in front, c e to the power that the minus 1. Okay, let me write my c well. Okay. Let me call it B because the C is confusing. Okay. Alright, B then minus one. So this is our Y. And we want to find the particular solution to this. Okay, because some condition is given in the question that provided this passes through the origin, and when something passes through the origin, what is the coordinate for the origin? Okay. For the origin in terms of a 2D, this is a 2D problem, that is the YDS, okay. For origin for 2D, the coordinate there is 0, comma, 0, where Y at that point is 0, and X at that point is also 0, okay. So when Y equals 0, X equals 0, let's put that in the equation and find our B. So I have 0 is equal to B times e to the power s is 0 so 0 minus 0 i'll get e to the power 0 which is 1 and minus 1 this implies that i'll send minus 1 to the other side of the equation my b will be equal to what's 1 so it means our y is equal to b is 1 i have e to the s squared over 2 minus x and minus 1 so this is our streamlined equation for this velocity vector field here.